Hi guys and welcome back to an amazing day. Bitcoin has broken higher yesterday exactly as predicted and has actually hit one of our targets that I had lined out to the dollar exactly. So and now the question is will Bitcoin go still higher here or should we prepare for a pullback and with what levels do we have to look at? If you think that's interesting then definitely make sure that you smash up the like button subscribe to the channel and also activate the bell so the algorithm will push this video out to as many people as possible and we're of course also talking about some other traits that we can take in the near future so now let's jump directly into today's charts here so here on the four hourly chart you see we had here this bigger falling wedge that uh, we were trading in and we have broken it to the upside but remember guys i said it yesterday i don't like the moment um, from where it broke out. It's too early in my opinion. It should break out like here. So I still believe there is a potential uh, for Bitcoin to pull back into it and then go here along the downwards trending now support line um, along and then get another move here to the upside. Something else that I want to po uh, point out here really quick, if I would move to a 12 hourly chart, you will see it most likely a little bit better, um, is that we have here this W pattern. Uh, actually, I have that on another chart. Um, so, but also something else on the four hourly chart before I move to the next one uh, back is we're above the 200 moving average. And that is really, really important uh, for the Bitcoin price in the Im imminent short term and now we have to wait and see if bitcoin can hold uh, the 200 ema when we are coming back and retesting it so if we can that will be tremendously bullish uh, for the imminent short term for the bitcoin price but if not that might be then uh, opportunity to short from here so and now we have to look at to where would we short this so for this I actually want to use a technique that I haven't used in a long time and I just have to look at it where I can find it. And it's a technique that one of my old partners actually taught me. So technically, technically here would be an opportunity to do this, but only um, if, let me see, was it like this? Yes. So when you have something like this here let me explain you what uh, what it is so this is called a fair value gap so a fair value gap is created when you have here a wick like here from this candle but you don't have you don't have price action come back to it so now you see that is pretty close to the price it's more or less where uh, the price is sitting so what we want to look at is for another fair value gap lower so and another fair value gap lower that wasn't filled yet uh, is something that we have to look for so the price never came back here to this fair value gap so here there you go there would be your target your imminent um, target so that would be my first target uh, i cannot see below um, another one uh, but there might be one with the underlying support here So here you go. So the first one here, that will definitely get filled. So this is really advanced stuff, you know. So like I said, I haven't done this in a long time, but I know how to look for it. This will be actually also included in my course. Uh, I'm just getting back into it. I can explain it, you know, so I can also use it. I just have to get used to it again. Uh, a little bit more to get more comfortable with it, but it will be included in my course. So definitely go to my website, which is uh, in the description and in the pin comment below. Go to my website and pre-register already for the course. Don't mistake uh, that the course will be for free. Of course, uh, you have to pay something for the course, um, but you can already sign up for it. So here, when you're looking at this potential, uh, no, I have to make this higher. So let's say we take the trade just under the 200 weekly moving average and we can put the stop loss here at that high candle approximately. So there you see it's a 2.33 risk to reward ratio. It's not too bad, you know, it's not too bad and we would make 5.55% more or less. 
20x leverage 110% on that specific trade which is really really um, yeah okay for a trade over the weekend so definitely look out for that that might be a good trading opportunity and I am already in a short position right now I have shorted Bitcoin from around that level I think um, unfortunately I have not my Bybit account open to show you the trade right now but I will put a screenshot again in my telegram group so uh, look at my telegram group I gonna post um, how much percentage I'm up right now but it should be around 30% or something and just use 10x leverage um, but yeah so um, and I couldn't post the trade because it happened really quick and that's why uh, I did not post it in my telegram chat guys or on um, Twitter so yeah so that is the trade that I'm looking for but from there I expect that Bitcoin will turn around and go back to the upside so and um, also here you see we are losing now the upward sloping per, uh, parabolic line here that we have with, with that crazy angle. So, and we are also breaking the bullish divergence right now. So if we close in 32 minutes the candle like this, it's highly likely that we're losing the trend. So then uh, the structure is, uh, the trend is shifting to the downside. And then of course we go uh, to the downside and then here at $27,500, we have to see if that is now confirmed support and that we can reach from this bigger W pattern, this uh, price target of $29,234 uh, uh, from this W pattern. So that is right now the question. We have to see how the price is reacting there. But um, yeah, so you could be definitely, uh, first of all, going into a short because even if this level is holding, we could wick under it and come straight back up and then you would have still made some money here. Then here on the four hourly chart, also here we see right now that uh, on the VPVR, uh, this volume area gets retested. So most likely we come all the way back down to the point of control at $27,400 approximately, which makes a lot of sense uh, w uh, with everything what I see right now here on the chart. So, and like I said, from there, I expect a reaction back to the upside into higher levels so and you should also not forget today is uh, a holiday it's like a Sunday so uh, CME is not trading the markets are closed so there's low vo uh, low volume in the market so which can lead of course to high volatility and we should also keep that in mind uh, something else that I wanted to point out which I actually forgot yesterday to talk about is the uh, Bitcoin dominance so you can see here the Bitcoin dominance is running into an apex of this uh, upward sloping support line and this downward sloping resistance line. So uh, here the dominance has to make um, a choice quite soon in the next uh, seven days in which direction the dominance would like to go. I reckon if Bitcoin breaks to the upside, the dominance might go, uh, might go up. But if Bitcoin just goes sideways, then we could see a drop in the dominance and that would be really, really good for all the altcoins out there. So, and that is what I am looking for um right now dominance dropping because most of all altcoins getting in position right now for a crazy run over the next uh, potentially starting in the next two three weeks so and i'm positioning myself for that already and i will talk more about altcoins once i see a lot of signs in alignment that altcoins starting to run so definitely also uh, watch out for this announcement. And guys, don't forget, if you want to take all these trades with me together, do this on Bybit. On Bybit, you still get $30,000 absolutely for free if you use my specific link here down below. And also, if you're a, a new user, you can get, if you KYC, um, $50 if you deposit at least $100. And if you're already on Bybit and you KYC, you get $20 for having at least $50 in your account. That's it already for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure that you smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you then again tomorrow.